Kelly, according to Dominion Energy, December and January is when you'll typically see your highest gas bills. But like you said, customers got their latest bill and they're saying it's too high and they're wondering why. Are you able to cook a meal or crank the heat without thinking of how it'll translate to your natural gas bill? I'm especially concerned about those that are on fixed incomes that struggle anyway. It, it's just enough to put somebody over the edge. Jeff Hansen did the math and claims his Dominion Energy bill went up 65% in the last three years. No, we're doing what we can. We open the blinds when the sun's shining. We, you know, um, turn the heat down when we're gone. I, I don't know what else we can do. Brittany Gaysford Fairday works out of her Syracuse home as a dog groomer. I can't just turn down the thermostat like I have live animals. She doesn't understand how this year's bill is higher, despite this winter being much tamer than the year before. We have a brand new high efficient furnace and we're still paying more and we're using less than we were last year. Dominion Energy says the current rate is because of last winter's market prices. Typically, natural gas can be purchased for $5 per decatherm or less, but last year it was 10 times that. A spokesperson says everything should balance itself out and eventually drop in price, but customers won't believe it until they see the next bill. Dominion is a monopoly, and there's no other gas company that Utahns can use. The Utah Public Service Commission has to approve of the rates that you see on your bill, but Dominion Energy recently filed for a $19 million decrease. And if the commission approves that, that those changes could go into effect February 1st, and that would mean a decrease of $10 annually on average. Reporting live, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.